And we have another inspiring story. More than 15 years ago, Golden native Eric Weinmayer made history becoming the first blind person to summit Mount Everest. Since then, he's continued his mission to summit the world's tallest peaks and inspire others. Today, he helped out students at the Anchor Center for Blind Children. That's where we find our CBS 4's Tori Mason. She joins us live from the center. Tori, this must have been a lot of fun. A lot of fun, Andrea. The students here actually have this awesome permanent rock wall set up that they normally use with a physical therapist. So that's, they're no stranger to climbing. And that's why meeting a man who climbed Mount Everest was a huge treat for them, especially when they learned climbing isn't the only thing they have in common. Now, before Eric started to go blind as a teenager, he was an athlete and he wasn't going to let a little thing like sight take him out of the game. That's when he discovered rock climbing. 29,000 feet later, he's inspiring others to reach their summits too. He spent the morning guiding children with severe visual impairments up their own version of Mount Everest and telling their parents there isn't any peak they can't reach. Eric says it's important for all children to have someone they can look up to, whether they can see them or not. I was lucky because I had a great family, but none of my family or anybody knew anything about blindness. So I wish I, I knew more blind people that could, you know, kind of give me a glimpse of the future, you know, what was possible. So that's why Skylar and I are here today, teaching them climbing. But yeah, maybe it'll click that I'm blind too, like they are. Now, Eric says his whole philosophy is to live life without barriers. And here at the Anchor Center, they give their children the tools and the education necessary to begin that life. In fact, it's one of the few nonprofits that specializes in treating kids with severe visual impairments under the age of five. We're live in Stapleton, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. Tori, thank you so much for